ever opened Canva, look at your design and thought it's good, but it still needs something, you're right. It needs life and motion. So you're in the right place because today I'm going to show you exactly how to make your designs dance, glide, and flow without needing any fancy software or motion design degree. Let's get started. I'm that AI chick, someone who probably spends more time in Canva than most people spend on Netflix. And today, I'm your creative side chick. I'm going to walk you through how I use Canva's animation tools to bring designs to life quickly, easily, and with a little how did she do that kind of style. Today, I'm going to show you my favorite animation tools inside Canva and give you some tips on ways you might want to use them. So buckle up, because by the end of this, you'll learn tips that'll help you make your designs look better than good, and they'll move, dance, glide, and flow too. So first up, my absolute favorite, create an animation. I often just call it the bee. This is Canva's design magic wand. It lets you create custom motion paths, scrolling, sliding, moving, whatever makes your layout come alive. Just select your element, click animate, then choose create an animation. Now drag your item around the page. It's kind of like sketching a path for movement but you can also smooth it out with settings like smooth or steady, and don't forget to tweak the speed. Just remember, don't crank it to max unless you want your animation to look like it just had five espressos. Here's a pro tip for you. Hold down shift while animating to keep your motion moving in a perfectly straight line. Simple, satisfying, and it makes you look like you've got precision design superpowers. See that? All of these movements were custom made with create an animation. Check this out. If you spot those faint purple lines in Canva, that's your actual animation path. And if it's not exactly right, then adjust, test, and play with it until you're happy. This feature gives you the control to make every movement feel deliberate. All right, if create an animation is your main actor, then transition animations are like the director. Transitions are the unsung heroes of flow. They make your design glide smoothly between pages like a professional video edit. And Canvas made it ridiculously easy to use these. My personal favorite, match and move. It takes an element from one page and smoothly moves it to the next. Just make sure you're using the same element on both pages. Then Canva does the rest, almost like magic. You can adjust the spade, direction, and transparency too. And with just a few tweaks, your design suddenly looks like a real motion graphic. Canva gives you a variety of transitions to choose from. Dissolve, slide, circle wipe, color wipe, flow, stack, chop. Each one changes the overall vibe. Flow feels cinematic. Chop feels snappy. Honestly, just hover over any of these, preview, and play. Don't overthink it. Find what fits your brand's rhythm or the feel of your story and go with it. And yes, I even have a pro shortcut for those I have a deadline in five minutes moments. It's really amazing and it's called Magic Animate. And it is exactly what it sounds like. Animation by magic. Here's how it works. I'll click anywhere on my design and then click Animate at the top. Now look under Page Animation, there it is, Magic Animate. And this little feature basically says, don't worry, I got this. With one single click, Canva looks at your design, studies it like a mind-reading AI stylist, and says, here's what I think will look amazing. If you hover over that first option, it shows Canva's recommended style based on the layout you already have. And if you hover over the other style options, you can preview them too. Playful, subtle, bold, elegant, just choose whatever suits your vibe and Canva animates everything on your page, including transitions. And boom. Just like that, my entire design has movement, some with smooth transitions between slides, others with little page level animations that make it all feel like a professional motion video. Look at that. After one click, I now have full animation and I didn't have to touch a timeline, drag a keyframe, or channel my inner animator. And if you choose remove all animations, it only turns off the animation on that specific page, not the whole design. 
If you want to remove it from every page, go back to that adjust icon and select remove magic animation at the bottom. Then poof, clean slate. Now for the part everyone loves, animated elements. Canva has an entire playground of animation effects for text, photos, icons, you name it. Check these out. Just highlight an element, click animate, and then explore options like pop, neon, merge, and more. And yes, you can control entry and exit motions on these. And if you've got Canva Pro, the additional intensity slider that is included lets you fine tune exactly how extra you want the animation to be. Canva's adding new animations all the time. Check back often because Canva adds new items items pretty frequently. And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.